Good morning, kings and queens. This is your boy, Atmos Love. You have now tuned into the Atmos Love Zone. And I am here to talk about a couple of things that happened yesterday with Mr. Scammer himself, Mr. DJ Tyson. Um, I want to make a couple of things perfectly clear. Number one. God didn't make me to be jealous of any man. Number two, I support people and want to see everybody doing well. That's just how I am. Even my enemies. I pray for my enemies. I already got too many, but we all got people that simply just don't like us for whatever reason. Number three, there is absolutely nothing wrong with seeing someone doing something that is hurting other people and speaking up about it. Number four, you can't get upset at someone for seeing something on video. Watch out, up vehicle about stopped it. on shoulder ahead. Can't do that. Look, I just wanted to let you all know that my issue with this guy, DJ Tyson, is that whenever he gets an opportunity, he uses a platform that was created to draw in R. Kelly supporters so that they have a place to go to to vent, to talk about how much they love R. Kelly, to support their guy. This guy, DJ Tyson, started doing these YouTube pages for R. Kelly, bashing R. Kelly, saying R. Kelly was a drug dealing pedophile. Um, and that he was going to get locked up. He deserved to get locked up and all these things. It's on record. It's Police out there. reported ahead. But then once he started noticing that there may be an opportunity to make money off of R. Kelly if you support R. Kelly, he switched up. Now he's one of R. Kelly, well, used to be one of R. Kelly's biggest, you know, cheerleaders. But then something changed. He started realizing that, hey, if I get online for three, four, five hours a day, answer people's questions with my opinion, not with facts. Or not unless I go to somebody else's page and take what they said, listen to what they said and bring it to this page and post it as if I was the one that came up with the information. And I will say something that people want to say or people feel and I'll say it over and over and over again until those people feel like I connect with them. They feel like I connected with them. They'll feel like I'm family. They'll feel like we're one. They will feel like we are connected. When someone is connected to someone, they feel a slight sense of obligation to make sure that someone they care about is okay. DJ Tyson was smart enough to manipulate a massive demographic of women on his channel. Most single, older women. He figured out a way to put his life issues online 
Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. And get them to donate money to this channel. Now, there's nothing wrong with people helping out someone who is in need. I help people in need all the time, all the time. My issue is when people help you, you take the money, use the money, and don't go out and try to better yourself or find a job or in 5.3 sure miles exit to exit 44 state route 6 thornton road hostel or make sure that you no longer have to be dependent on those people that were kind enough to help you the first time now you may have some that simply want to help you more than others you may have some that you resonate more with than others but what you can never do is what he did which is take a subscriber who was fond of him name was Tawana Carter she sent him three hundred dollars watch out pothole on road ahead he would say little things to her to make her feel like there may be an opportunity for them to possibly have something together in the future. He's single, she's single. She think he cute. Whatever. He locks into that. Talks to her offline. Tell her what she need to hear. She sent him the money. He gets the money. Cusses her out because she expressed the fact that she felt used by him. Because he said what he needed to say to her to get her to give him the money. So I guess she was expecting or thinking that they were going to be together because he was giving her special attention but once that she posted that she felt violated by him that is when all hell broke loose because what manipulators can't do is let it be exposed to other people that they're manipulating and that is what happened Because she posted that she was hurt, she felt used, he puts out a tweet cussing her out, saying that he didn't tell her to give him that money that was on her. She called a high power lawyer to help him when he was- In 900 feet, turn left to I-20 West. When he was going through a situation to help him. Turn left to I-20 West. He tells her, I didn't tell you to call that lawyer. So don't expect no thank you for it. Then he blocks her ass. Make a U-turn. Now. Then turn right. Make a U-turn on Riverside Parkway. Let's then say this. turn right to I-20 West. Let's say this lady was so wrapped up into him that she accepted what he did. There are some out there that cater to their abusers. Turn right to I-20 West. With that being said, as a son, as a father, If you do it to one, you'll do it to others. Any grown man.
who was monitoring a situation of a man manipulating his mother or his grandmother or his auntie or sister would have a problem with what this man does to countless women on his page. The problem is you do it in the name of R. Kelly. Then when you get called out on it, you got enough nerve to go on your page yesterday when someone gets on and asks you, hey, can we please talk about R. Kelly? That's what we're here for. We are here to talk about R. Kelly, not you. What do you say, DJ Tyson? You say, we ain't talking about R. Kelly right now. If you want to talk about R. Kelly, go somewhere else. Right now, this is about me. Right now, this is about hit that cash app. Right now, this is about, let me tell you something to make you feel guilty so you can hit that cash app. That's what this is about. I need to get my money. Y'all didn't pay me nothing last week. So I need to turn my pimp skills up. Get out your credit card. Hit the cash app. You want to talk to me? You want to hear something about R. Kelly? Hit that cash app. That's the truth. I think you said something yesterday. You said the truth shall set you free. That's not what the Bible say. The Bible say the truth shall make you free. <laughs> I would rather be made into something than set up to be something. And right now you are setting those women up for failure. Because you are making them believe that you are a representation of someone that they love and they care about. And you are taking their money as if you are an extension of him. And you're not. So I know you want me to stop making these videos. I will stop making these videos when you stop scamming and scheming on these women that are mothers, daughters, sisters, and grandmas. When you stop scheming and scamming, bumming and begging, and getting out there and being a grown man and making it happen for yourself, I'll go away. But until then, I'm gonna keep my foot on your damn neck. Call me whatever you want to. I will be one of the only men that stand up to you doing this crap to these women. Because I guarantee you a lot of their sons don't know about this. Or they would sit their moms down and say, Mom, what the hell are you doing? Do you see this man as a 50-year-old man? If you took the six or seven hours a day to look for a job in Houston, I think you'll find something. But you got these women paying your bills. So why not use that? Why not milk that cow, right? I'm going to keep calling you out, brother, until you stop the bull. That's it. That's all. There's a lot of people that want to say these things to you, but they're afraid to. Or they don't want to get cussed out by you. I don't care. You can call me fat. Call me gay. Call me this. Call me that. Whatever. That don't matter. At the end of the day, I'm telling you the truth. And I'm calling you out. Be a grown man. Be responsible. Be a leader. Support our kid if you're going to support him. <laughs> it's not about you, Mr. DJ Tyson, a.k.a. Bed Book. It's about R. Kelly on your side. Make it about that. Keep it there.
take R. Kelly, R. Kelly face down as your freaking profile. You're very misleading, very manipulating. You got that man's face on your profile to suck people in. Then once you get them there, you tell them this sob story every single day is a new story. And then you say, y'all call me family. If y'all look at me as being family, I'm turning to my family right now because I need y'all to give me some money to pay these bills. Hit that cash app. Nah. You need to be called out. And that's what I'm doing. Y'all have a blessed day. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this video. But when you tell the truth, people don't like it. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace.